good morning everyone yesterday i read a news on money control which talked about grow uh, as a company has stopped taking fresh money from users for us stock investments so basically grow used to have this as a feature on their platform and they don't anymore perfectly valid choice for any platform but the problem is that there are around 1500 2000 odd users who are still on grow who are uh, you know who still have us stocks on the grow platform and grow has sort of given them a deadline that either you sell this or you transfer it to someone else we will not be supporting it for a very long period it's a business decision sure i am very sure they must have thought as to why they are doing it and whether it makes business sense or not but the impact of something like this can be significant if you are one of those users whose stocks are there with grow because a either you will need to unnecessarily sell it or you'll have to figure out a way to transfer from one platform to another and that sort of a risk or a headache is not worth it in my opinion and what can you do to sort of save you from this discomfort i'll not call it a loss or a tragedy or anything like that but it is a certain amount of discomfort uh, that comes in so the idea behind stuff like this is that there are a lot more safe ways a lot more tried and tested ways to invest in us stocks if that is what you want to do there are mutual funds which exist which do that but the fundamental idea is that we have a tendency to keep on trying new platforms and established platforms and you know oh they are allowing us to do this so let's try that out i don't know if it is such a good idea to try out new platforms this way another example which i find really really attractive but i have stayed away from is the navi mutual funds now they have launched index funds and they are pretty great index funds that they have launched with a very very low cost but as an investor in index funds whose bulk of the money is lying in index funds i would not be very comfortable keeping all of it or the bulk of it with a company like navi nothing wrong against navi but the idea is that it is fairly new in the markets when there is an option available from companies like hdfc sbi icici who charge a little bit higher for the index funds so the difference i believe will not be more than 10 basis points and 10 basis points is not a significant enough difference that you lose your sleep over it there are people who have complained about the navi app as well i i remember reading a few tweets that you know they ask for a lot of permissions a lot of data from you before you can actually invest and transact on the platform now all of these are good business decisions for navi and i believe these are this is the sort of stuff which helps them keep the cost down but i don't think it is a great idea to rely on these new age platforms for a bulk of your portfolio you want to try it out try it out with you know a percentage or 2 3% of your portfolio if you want to try it out but it's just a little bit better to stick to you know the tried and tested methods or something like a mutual fund if you're looking at us stocks or uh you know if you're looking at index funds there are options from hdfc icici sba etc which are available avoid unnecessary headache in finance if you can i don't know how you deal with money but anything even slightly untoward happens even with a small portion of my portfolio i personally get unnecessary anxiety you know you tell me that you will not be able to sell this mutual fund for the next 3 years even if i do not have any plan of selling it for the next 3 years if you put such a restriction on me i will lose sleep 
over it. I will feel uncomfortable about it. Is it logical to feel that discomfort? I don't think so because I'm anyways not planning to sell that particular mutual fund over the next three years. But whenever some sort of such restriction comes in, it tends to become a little bit difficult. So it's much easier to just avoid these issues. Thank you.